<laughs> right, uh, now remember guys. You have to be loud, but you have to be loud. Hey, my name is, but you have to be fairly loud because there's trucks running and they're fairly loud. So you got to be speak up yourself. Porque si el examiner doesn't hear what you're saying, guess what? He's gonna fail you. Te va a poner. I didn't hear you. Automatic fail. This one. So good morning. My name is Raul Gonzalez. I'm here to do my pre-trip inspection. I'm gonna start by taking my five clearance lamps, proper color amber, not cracked or broken, properly mounted to the top of my cap with one function, running. From there, I'm gonna check the top of my cap in good conditions, properly bolted to the to my cap, not cracked or broken or bolts missing. Next, my uh, highway horns, left and right in good conditions, properly mounted to the top of my cap in good working conditions. From there, I'm gonna make my way to my left and right side windshields, not cracked or broken. They always need to remain clean at all times. Uh, the only sticker that I'm allowed to have right there is my license plate sticker up to date. From there, my weather strips left and my right side, free from any leaks in good conditions. From there, I'm going to jump to my wiper blades, make sure they're working properly, not cracked or broken. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and jump and check all my hood from my left to my right side, properly mounted and bolted to my frame. No bolts missing, there's no dents, cracks or holes on it, and properly secured to my cap. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and check my right side uh, mirror, light spot mirror, properly mounted to my hood. Uh, my bracket is in good condition, no bolts missing and the mirror is properly adjusted to the driver's view. We'll leave it with these ones for now because they haven't bought me the other one. So no sé si van a comprar el otro. What do we say right for, uh, from any... I have checks to that as well? Uh, this one, no, you can just say it remain, remain clean and that, that will knock it out. Okay. They don't really require it on, on, the, on the mirrors. On the, yeah. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and check my grill in good conditions, properly mounted to my hood, not cracked or broken. From there, I'm going to check my radiator shutters, make sure they're all in good conditions, not cracked or broken, free from any debris, because I can overheat my engine. Uh, now remember guys, they want you to save part by part. I know this is the same exact thing, grill and shutters, but they want the grill and then the shutters. Ya se están poniendo bien picky en eso. From there, I got my placard properly mounted to my, my radiator shutters in good conditions, not cracked or broken or missing. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and check my left and right side, side marker light, proper color amber. It does have three functions, which is a running, turning, and four-way flashers. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and check my headlights, left and right, which is my low beams in good conditions, proper color clear, properly mounted to the front of my, my hood. From there, I'm gonna check my left and right side uh, high beams, proper color clear, not cracked, broken, and, and the same properly mounted to the front of the hood. Uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and check my DOT approved front bumper, properly mounted to the frame, not cracked, broken, no bolts missing on it. From there, I'm gonna check my left side and right side fog lights in good conditions, not cracked in or broken, proper color clear. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and check my license plate, properly mounted to the, to the bumper, no bolts missing, and free from any obstructions. Uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and check the bottom of my truck, uh, which I'm gonna be checking for some oil spills that could be coming from your transmission, your engine, radiator uh, uh, fluids, power steering pump and your AC compressor is always going to leak and running in the summertime. We just got to make sure it's uh, condensation and not any type of other oil or fluids. And then from there I'm going to check that my truck is properly leveled. If it's tilted to the left or to the right side, it's telling me that I could have a suspension problem, a flat tire, uneven payment or uneven cargo. In which in this case we do have a little bit of uneven payment. That's why the truck is leaning a little bit to the left side. And uh, that's all. That's where it ends, guys. Right there.